to Oing Alotu Netayao. It is so good to be home, church family. God is good. And all the time, God is great. Hallelujah. You know, when something is created or something is formed, it has a purpose. Hallelujah. You know, kind of like um, Auntie Nima's banana bread that we had yesterday. It was created for a purpose. It was to satisfy a hunger. Or in this, in this situation, it was made out of love for family. Or maybe you create a photo album of photos that have memories. Kind of like how Auntie Bella had our pictures from Hawaii. Had a photo album sent out to our family. These are things that you want to look back to. Memories that you create. So this morning, church, we were created for a purpose. We were created to worship Him. That's what we're going to sing about first thing this morning. And think about that as we worship the Lord today. You were created to worship Him. You may be doing God's will, but that is another form of worship. You may be walking in His Spirit, but that is another form of worship. So church, sing along with us and let's get ready to worship the Lord. Hallelujah.
yourself before your presence. Just to give everything that you deserve, to Father God. Lord. Who are we that you loved us so much? Who are we that you care for us so much? That you sent your only son to die for us. So we just come to you. No matter what has happened throughout our week. No matter what we have come to this sanctuary with, Father God, Lord, we just take this time to lift our hands, sing songs, Father God, Lord, to uplift your holy name. For you are the King of kings, you are the Lord of lords, and we just, we dwell in your presence, Father God, Lord. We thank you for your spirit that is here. And we just pray, Father God, Lord, that you are pleased in our praise, Father God, Lord. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, we're going to go straight into our time of prayer. And uh, something that I shared with our church in the Paso. If you notice, the smallest meetings in any church is always the prayer meetings. Amen. The smallest meetings in any church, no matter what denomination, it's always the prayer meeting. But why? Why is prayer meetings always the smallest groups? Have you noticed it's always you know, too little love? It's always the old ladies and people who don't have time to come for the prayer meeting. Amen. It's only usually a handful, about five, six maybe. But prayer meetings are always the smallest meetings. It's because people don't get immediate results. Sometimes we are in a in a phase, we're in an atmosphere, we're in a generation now that we just expect everything like right now. We're in a microwave generation where you can just get it within minutes. And I want you to really understand this morning before we go into prayer that God answers prayer, but he answers in his timing. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you don't see the answers right away when it comes to God and his will for your life. But if you can just keep on knocking, if you can just keep on praying, if you can keep on pressing, I promise you, I promise you, this is not scripted, this is experience. I promise you, God will deliver. Amen? So as I pray, do me a favor, I want you to pray for your own circumstances. I want you to speak life into your own situation. I want, to, I want you to speak God's grace, God's mercy, God's love. And so whatever you got going on, I don't know what's going on, what you got going on, but you know. And so as I pray, I just want you to do it yourself. Pray with me. Amen? Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you, Father God, Lord. And once again, we just so thankful for this opportunity. This opportunity just to be here, Father God, Lord, to fellowship, to be able to just have life in general, Father God, Lord. We just thank you. And we know that all the things that we have, Father God, Lord, from the money from, to the food to the clothes to um, just our families, our jobs, everything that we possess, Father God, that's none of us. That's not of our doing. It's all because of you. And so we just come before you to just put credit where it's due, Father God, Lord. And we just give you credit and give you praise for all that you have done in our lives, but not just our lives, but our families. And in this church, Father God, Lord, and our own church is back home. And we just pray, Father God, Lord, that you continue to search us, Father God, Lord, to continue to shed light in the, the areas of our life that you just want us to turn around, Father God, Lord. And we just pray for forgiveness upon anything that we have done, anything that we have said, anything that we have held against one another. And just pray, Father God, Lord, that you just continue Help us to move into your direction, Father God, Lord, that you help us to walk in your will, to walk according to your word. And we just pray, Father God, Lord, at this time, that you just help us forgive others as well, Father God, Lord. Help us to just move past, Father God, Lord, to reach what it is that you have in store for us. And so, Father God, Lord, we just come before you and just pray, Father God, Lord, that you just be with us in all of our areas of our lives, Father God, Lord. And I may not know who needs healing here. I may not know who needs deliverance. I may not know, but you know, Father God, Lord. And so I come on behalf of them this morning. And we just pray your presence into their situation. Father God, Lord, I just pray, Father God, Lord, those who are in need of healing, that they be healed at this time, Father God, Lord. 
in the name of Jesus. Those who are looking for deliverance may be delivered in the name of Jesus. And those who are looking for answers, Father God, Lord, that they continue to seek you, that you will supply the answer in due time, Father God, Lord. Those who are looking for help, Father God, Lord, that your hand and provision will just come down and wait upon them, Father God, Lord. I pray for all of our families, all of our friends that are here, Father God, Lord, and those who are able to make it. We just pray that you continue to be the centerfold of their life. That you continue, Father God, Lord, just to speak to them, Father God, Lord, that they are able to see your will for their lives, Father God. We just take this time, Father God, Lord, just to even pray for Pastor and Tina as there's them that have passed out this time, Father God, Lord, and continue to be with them in their service today, Father God. We just pray for all of our leaders in each ministry, Father God, in this church. We just pray you continue to help them, guide them, give them wisdom and strength, Father God, Lord, in all that they do and all that they plan, Father God, Lord, may it be according to your will. And Father God, Lord, we just we just pray your spirit upon us, Father God. So, this is just a, a moment of our lives on a Sunday, Father God. Lord. As we leave this building, Father God, Lord, I just pray your spirit upon us that you just guide us where you want us to go, to do the things that you want us to do, to say the things that you want us to say, Father God, Lord, to not lose any more battles, Father God, Lord, just to be prepared to be in your word, Father God, Lord, and I just pray victory over our situations, victory over our week coming up, Father God, Lord, victory over anything that we may be struggling with, with in the name of Jesus, and we declare it this morning, Father God. Lord, be with us in our service as we partake in communion. And we just take this moment of the month, Father God, Lord, just to come together as a community to remember the sacrifice of Jesus. That through all he went through, through all the criticism and all the pain and all the suffering that he suffered, Jesus, we thank you so much. We thank you so much for enduring the pain and going to the cross for each and every one of us. Because of you, we are here today. Because of you, we have hope for tomorrow. And we just thank you so much. Because of salvation, families have been mended. Relationships have been mended. And we just thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done in our lives. Jesus, may you be given all the praise, honor, and glory through our service today. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That was good? All the time. Come on, man. Come on, come on, Pastor. Come on now. Just to get a little of God. Amen. God is good? All the time. God is good? All the time. All the time. God is great. Hallelujah. Father, Father, thank you. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to tell you anything. I'm going to tell you anything. Amen. You never know the opportunities that you are given to uh, come back home. So uh, we definitely took this opportunity and it's been a blessing so far. Thank you. We've had a lot of family time and time to be here and so good to be back home in our church. And we just want to say uh, we welcome all of you, all of those who uh, are new, all of those who are visiting. Uh, all our family, all our friends, our church, uh, we just want to say welcome in the name of Jesus. We thank you so much for being here. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world. You could have been at Starbucks down the street, but uh, you chose to be here. And praise God that you are here because I believe that there is a message for you. And just pray that God continue to speak to you through our service today. And so at this time, we're going to go into our uh, offering. If I can call up our lovely brothers in the nice suits. <laughs> Let us pray, Heavenly Father God, we just come before you as we get ready to give. And as we give, Father God, Lord, we just pray for a cheerful heart upon each and every one of us. We just give to give back to you, Father God. It's not to the church. It's not to the sentence of God, Father God. But it's to your kingdom. 
to the gospel going forward. And so we sow these seeds as we put it into the basket, Father God, Lord, that people may be blessed, that lives will be changed. In your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Give me a hold on to a
ofa pe atu ina iluia oto uma ya awa olo toto le le ole toto le fera ngo fo ofa malinga motagata to te e fa ma nga lo ya sa o te fa ya to fo ya to to o te le to ilu lava ile le vi ne fo e yo o le aso o ke vai ile o ina fo fa ta si ma o to ile ma lo o lo to ma ao e fa fo ga le u fa wi na le le o fe ta lai mai fo ile a fio ga le to i a su e su e fo o e i a te o e le le ta i lo ta o ai ma ai ai le ma i nu le awa o lo ai ma i nu le to to e su e su o le ti nu le fa ma ai ai o ta tu ta ta ma ni u nu o sa to lo mo e ma su a tu su a ti a kon por una buena idea It's my 
The wages of all of our sins, Father. You paid the price on that cross, dear Lord. Your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior.
toi, mais toi, nous, on est là, on l'a, on est ici, là, on est 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 là, Get to this point to be able to stand here and I know we all have different journeys and through our different journeys we always meet different people and uh, it's funny because I was in Samoa and during my time in Bible school and uh, we were able to minister to all the high schools and uh, it's funny I see one of the Tafuna warriors that I was able to meet over there brother Larry see I love you thanks for seeing my brother uh, I haven't seen you ever since we were able to minister over there so it's good to see you all the way here in California with your family Praise God. I'm glad to see you, brother. And, uh, just pray that you continue to look for those little things, because those little things matter. Amen. People that are able to come into your life, into your journey uh, with Christ, and you may not know it, but those are little confirmations that you're in the right place. So, Larry, you're my confirmation today. I'm in the right place. Amen? Amen. Uh, but speaking of journey, I think this is a perfect time to transition into our El Paso team. Yes. So, worship team, thank you so much. We, appreciate you. we have another round of applause for our worship team. <laughs> just uh, go ahead and share about our time in El Paso and uh, just everything that God has been doing for us. Uh, like I said, it's a blessing for us to be here. And so I uh, just want to give it over to our team to share. Um, our Mr. Noah has come back home so he can finish some schooling, so that's why you only see three up here. I hear some people going, what about Noah? So our, yes, Mr. Noah is still a part of us, but we are down to three now. Um, we have three families that we are working with that are coming on Wednesdays and Sundays. And we have about 10 people that are on and off. They'll come on a Wednesday or maybe they'll come on a Sunday, but that's pretty much the crowd that we have at this point. Um, for those of you who don't know, our goal that was um, passed down to us is at least 20 members. We need to have at least 20 members to fully establish this church. So church, please pray not for the number 20, but to go above and beyond Amen. 20. Amen. We have now been in El Paso for 10 months. For the first eight months, we have been renting the hall. So we rent a facility through a Methodist church. So our hall is what we've been renting for the first eight months. The commute from Las Cruces to El Paso is about an hour. So we drive about an hour on a Sunday morning. We get there early. We have to wait for their Sunday school to finish. And then we have to transport all of our equipment to the hall. So you're looking at band equipment. We set up chairs, um, the sound system. 
the PowerPoint, the camera. So you see Mr. Noel was a big part of that. So now we have to figure that out between us three. Um, but that was the first eight months of what we were going through in El Paso. So last month, and this room, it's like a building all on its own. It's pretty much um, kind of the size of our hall. We have our own stage. We have a kitchen. I don't cook, but we have a kitchen. <laughs> and um, we can leave our equipment in there. We don't have to transport our, our equipment anymore. So that saves us a lot of time. So praise God, we do have um, a new room. And our rent did not go up. Our rent is the same from when we used the hall to the new room. So praise God for that. Um, one thing that we started in El Paso, we, we started sowing seeds of kindness. And what that is, it's individually and us as a team. We go out into the community. Um, it can be anything as praying for someone, a, a stranger, um, paying for somebody's meal, helping somebody with gas. It's anything, some kind of seed of kindness. That's something that we've started and it's a way that we can reach the community. So church, in the month of May, um, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we were told that we do need to move out and find a place to stay. So from May until the middle of June, we've been looking for an apartment, a room, something that we can live in. Um, our specific prayer was, before we drive to California, Lord, give us a, a, a home, give us a place to stay and closer to the church. Um, so church, we on June 14th, that was Jerry's birthday, one of our applications was accepted and we have a duplex in our company. Amen. And our landlords are born again Christians. And so to go back to sowing seeds of kindness, church, one of the, the seeds of kindness that we sowed was through a hospice facility. We're gonna start working with them and helping that, that community. But the director of this hospice facility, we got this duplex through her. So we were sowing a seed of kindness, but in return, God used that seed and blessed us with a place to stay. So praise God for that. So my final thought before I turn it over um, to the mighty men behind me. Um, at the beginning of this year, we were given a deadline. And the deadline was the month of September. So church, as you know, when we went into this church planting, we don't know what the timeline is. We thought maybe six months, we thought maybe a year, but we were going in thinking God would show us the way. So when we received this deadline, we started praying for God to show us clarity, to give us clarity, to show us, um, to guide us as far as what our next step is. Um, and as a team, individually and as a team, we all felt God was telling us that your, your work is not done. So church, if you ask me today, do I want to come home? The answer is yes. <laughs> I, I miss grandma, I miss you all, I miss our fellowship, but the calling on my life is greater than what I want. And I kept thinking, God put it in my heart, how can I return to a comfortable life? How can I return to a nice car, a nice home, when El Paso is still lost? How can I come back to what I want to do when the community is yearning for, for Christ, when there's a small community, and not even just the Samoans, but a community as a whole that needs Jesus. So because of that, my faith and my trust and our team's faith and trust is in, is in Christ. So we're looking at maybe six months to a year. We don't know. But at this point, we're just relying on God that he will show us the way. So that is my part of our sharing. Jesus name, Jesus name. is so faithful. You know, when we are faithless, God is faithful. Right. All the time. So, uh, ever since we've been out there in um, the church plant when we first started, uh, we put together a wish list. Things that we need for the house. Things that we needed for the church. And just to see God's favor. People uh, supporting us uh, financially and through the wish list. And just God just showing up every time. When you live by faith, God is there. He will see you through everything. So, I don't kind of get emotional. I'm just, I'm just so thankful that God is so faithful. Is there a faithful God, amen? Is there a faithful God? So, so yeah, uh, the wish list, people have been supporting us. People have been, uh, not 
I'll do with the wish list, but like financially, just giving us money to go have lunch, or for gas, or for a little Starbucks, for, for us guys back here, to do all the driving. You know? and, um, so I just want to thank everybody, for those that are watching too live, all the family and friends for the support, teaming, teaming up with us out there uh, in El Paso. We just, from the bottom of our hearts, we just want to say thank you. God sees you, God sees your heart, and I pray that he continues to bless you tenfold. Amen. And uh, to end, end my uh, sharing, uh, we're uh, like a week before we came out this way, and uh, a friend, a family friend of mine called me up, and he was like, hey, God was telling me, putting in my heart that I need to send you some money. I need to send you some money. God's speaking to me. I'm, I'm going to send you some money. So I'm like, oh, wow, brother, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. So he sends the money, sends the check. And this is like a couple days before we were going to come out this way. And then he said, uh, he wrote a check for us for $1,000. $1,000. God's speaking to other people to bless our mission. You know, Pastor. So God knew our situation because, you know, the community, like the leaf said, it's an hour from Las Cruces to El Paso. So the wear and tear on the car, we're like, man, we need some new tires. I was looking at the tires. I don't think we're going to make it to California. <laughs> These tires. But God saw how we need to get back home to family and friends. So we rely on God. He will come through. So we got brand new tires. For <laughs> you know, AJ got to, you know, because I was get out here, but church, keep the faith. All you need is uh, faith as small as a mustard seed. Yes. That's all you need. God will do the rest. Amen. Yeah. So that's my sharing. God bless. Thank you, team. Um, I just want to encourage you because I've always sat in that seat and I've always looked at missionaries and people coming up here talking about their journey and how they're struggling and this and that. And I'm always wondering in that seat, why would you do that? <laughs> You know, I'm always asking myself, why would you go through that? And uh, just like Jerry said, man, God is faithful. Sometimes when we've questioned or even thought about, you know, what is this for? What, what is this purpose for? God has come in his own way through people, uh, through you guys, uh, through Pastor and Tina, just encouraging us that there is a reason why we're out there, that our calling is not going void, that everything that we're doing from beginning to end to glorify God. And so I just want to encourage you. Our time in El Paso has really shined, uh, has really brought a light to our lives that we, as church planners, we have to be faithful in the smallest things. Like faithful being on time in church. Amen. <laughs> faithful on showing up to church. Amen. Because if we, the church planners don't show up, well, the church ain't going to show up. And just those little things like that, like we are able to grasp and faithful in the small things. Wherever God has put you, you don't have to go church planning. You can stay right here, but wherever God has planted you, whether it's the worship ministry, maybe you're good at finances, maybe you're good at coming preaching the word and leading service, maybe you're a good Sunday school teacher, but wherever God has planted you, just be faithful in the area that God has you right now. And I promise you, it's not just for, um, it's not just for you, it's for the long run. God has something bigger and something better for you, but he's just wanting you to be faithful with those little things that he is placing in your hands right now. Some of us, we may not be involved in church, but God has placed life in your hands. He has placed kids in your life. He has placed resources in your life. If you can be faithful in those things, I promise you God will give you bigger. And so that's our encouragement and our testimony for today. Uh, we just pray that God continue to speak to your hearts. If it's not church planning, get involved. Get involved in the church. Don't be slacking and just coming on Sundays and just coming when it's from Kuma. Amen. Just continue to be faithful in your own church. If you're not in this church, be faithful in the church God has planted. And so before we call up our uh, Pastor Vico to come up and bring forth the word, I do want to call our family up to sing our song. They're looking at me like we need to this. Come on up. And we've got a music on the share of the time. No matter what we have, no matter what's going on.
move on. As long as we have Jesus, that's all that matters to us. May you be blessed through this song. May you return to the Lord for
Ele foi confiar, um filho, ele foi almoçar um lugar de tour. Ele partiu um dia todo o dia, um dia ou dois. Final, anda, anda no colégio. Ele vai fazer um lugar no teatro de São Paulo e de Carisina. Peço, tem que o fazer. Foi sim o pôr. Ele o manda fazer o fato de estima teta. Tato Martão. Eu vou olhar a noite a tomar fruta para estar sem inimigas. E a tua fruta não faz tudo isso, não faz isso. A sua fala é o tato de uma fruta em mim, está aí. A sua fala é uma fruta em mim, está aí. A sua fala é uma fruta em mim, está aí. A sua fala é uma fruta em mim. Tato passou a por um coletivo, aquele sei em mim. A tua fala é uma fruta em mim, está aí. A tua fala é uma fruta em mim. Mas tá gata lá uma e um colher tua já para morar no lugar da hora tua. Aí o filho aí, quando a bombona embalou a tua colher tua de metal, a hora da farta ainda está a tocar o cia, a malos de metal. Aí me chegou o moro a vanoa está a tomar fruta, já vi a lele, já vi o show, já marco e me disse a moa já se alô e já vi a lele, a fruta me deu onda, já me chegou e não foi alô. Kalau mungkin ada ada buat atau cili malu, masih boleh mat atau makutan ini asal yang masih boleh. For what we have, I am the only. We got a full house to worship the Lord, but it's not us, but it's God. The Spirit is moving in this place. Kalau orang dua ni ada orang dua ni berdei, ini lah yang mafai nak faham manusia tak tu tak ada orang ni berdei. Orang yang tak tu faham orang ni tu faham ini ada dua ni berdei saya. Aí eu trouxe, aí a gente olha no Itaial, já sou mais mal. Eu sou da tua, eu vou de ferro no tuxi. Aí a gente vai para a final, mas a tua, mas a gente vai para a tua. Aquele eu falo, não, mas eu já aí eu, que ele fungi, que ele não chega em mim. E aí ele entra, eu sou eu, que ele fungi. Aí eu sou eu, que ele não chega em mim. Aí eu sou eu, que ele não chega em mim. Aí eu sou eu, que ele não chega em mim. Salam Moe Limas Kurban Limas, Psalm 55. Tato Fai Tau Maide, Fai Ufu Momua Sheyo Elevam, Mabot Bole. Salam Moe Limas Kurban Limas, Psalm 55, verse 1 to 8. If you have the English Bible, please look at it and read, read through it so you can Know the message this morning. Hallelujah. Salam o lima lima fai o momua senhor varua fai o moa. Can you say amen? Amen. A tanto fai tau fatasi ai ia. Let the word be faithful to the way and not stand. Our hearts in the midst of our Iconia. Be faithful to the way and not stand. Stand in my yate. O Fado Noi, O Mato Fado, O Noi, 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 Amen. So it's not over until we have to put a value for the world. Here, so we have to take the children. On the fact that we see on the solar, that's it. My the matangi the tele, my father. If you have your English Bible, you read that verse eight, and then the verse six. On the over there, there. Já fui a moa a para o teu lupe, o teu lele se aí lava, e logo no fora, no novo mau mais. É, 
wafia mawa e wafa peatu tata tafia mawa apa awe peyo lupe o te lele sa yama ile o nofo mawa fa maile fa maloshi le nei taiao awa e te sola mai fa i mata ai ui yai i fa i mata can you say it man awa e te sola mai fa i mata ai ui yai i fa i mata i put it in the english way it goes like this don't fly away from the storm but soar above the storm can you say it man don't fly away from the storm but soar above the storm we don't criticize king david from honestly expressing his feelings he just want to get away period when you read that verse but one thing we need to remember that we cannot run away from life burden any problem when it comes to the problems of life accept them endure it live with it through god faith don't fly away from the storm fly above the storm how are it is sola is a my fight at all I am the I find it. As we heard our castle mission. Our tato far on logo. It is our fire far now. You know what to go on it tato on wenga. Eyo it our fire on wenga our castle. Eyo if I go fear on wenga. Or I find a tar on wenga. I find my life on my loss in the tayao. I want to if I try to find the time. I have you find the time. Can you say it man? Ole tu si ta ta to fight to win. Ole tu si ole ona ya ta vita. I am not a tu ole ta ma ta le ne yo tu pota vita na to fear ele tu. I find my na ba ai ta vita e fight ta. Ba ai ka vi ka fa le kongu ole mo. Ba ai ka vi ka le le usu ka yo kara. But I find that we can be more secure on the track. We are popular. We are always in the mix of affairs and activities. Because we are more than just a party. The people are loose. Okay, let us say, I want to find a car. I want to buy 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 a car. Israel, all the people are not worship the Lord. They, do they do their own thing. And he was so disappointed because he was appointed by God. And then he said he want to have those wings like the dog so he can fly away. Can you say him that? The person was talking about how suffering he is. If I got time, I got weather. Ele fai o fio na garoa malé tu pota vita. A família o pô ali tua, o aba aia tu na garoa malé tua. De aí na o fa fica a unia mele fa fa na iba na o. A alfa malosi le nei ka iau. A o ai que só ai se ai, mas fai na kanga. A o ai que só ai se ai, mas fai na kanga. A é ruim e ai fai na kanga. Ele fai o fio ele fai o mele na garoa malé. Ale sabala au le tua ya yo ma yo ma au e ka ha ile kala le Ala me sa ku fa ma isa alu le wa wa e ese le ma alu wai ma alu le ba ka ko lo le kala fa ma isa hangi ma le makangi a makangi ia ya ni mai a ke mi o ma e ka fenga e ke mi o ma e ki muma e ke mi o ma e fa so so ma le a sa so ai lu ye yo ma isa Ele é bem mal ou não é algo que pega para algo aí ele cura. A gente tem essa soma e uma. Aí se a o ele é manato ele para algo ele cura. Aí não o saúl é batendo e saúl é fa. Foi mais na inglesa a aí aí é o fa. O aí aí é meu o fa de como. O aí aí é meu o cupo. 
Et il y a une au long du cocon ou le bas. Et il y a un peu de temps pour faire des vies faciles. Et c'est là. On a un peu de temps pour faire des vies faciles. Et on a un peu de temps pour faire des vies faciles. Et on a un peu de temps pour faire des vies faciles. Et on a un peu de temps pour faire des vies faciles. Face that storm. Or soar about that storm. Maybe that storm will help you through. I come all my cunning as a so so happy at all. I come all find a car as so so happy at all. I'll let me cry out because I'm not going to your tattoo to get up. There you are, two of the tattoo to your own. There you are, two of the family. If I'm my own, you are two. I'll let you have a year to wait and tell you. Was a valley by a sure in Ugosa. Or a Makangi was a key eyes of so. Who acquired a mock or a half. As a main a war, some valley by a super made a fair color. I saw a sure. They'll pay us a equal lesser. I there was some a sure, some valley by Ugosa. Or a Makangi, a father, come when you can't go back to our own. O kala ho yo kana ka risi na makan, e fale kongo e no o kongo e levi. O lo sao e vivi levi, o lo ya ke o e, lo sao lo kongo e ke vivi ya e levi. A o le nei ka ya o ke ko fia fa manga ku ya ke o e, alu ya e mafi ka o e. Alu ya e kongo e mau e, e mapu o lo kana ka o. E mi fo o e mau, a le a o ma, a le tu a sa. But I have a two points of my own. Of our long or long a little. Of our long or long a mafia. Of my cow. Of a fifth. Of a less than fear. I have a mile long a nana. A city I don't know what this is. Our law, yale and when I was two one year at two. He let a woman there at the time. The lady saw a moody eye in the woman. So I am fire the thing and I don't want to go. But I'm a lot of it. Sometimes we have giant storms. I mean giant. Bigger than this building. Can't you say it that? But you can go through giant storms. Remember that movie, The Giant Facing the Giant? You want to face that giant. You want to kill that giant. Amen? But if you have the power of the Holy Spirit, if you have the anointing of God, Whatever giant facing you, <coughs> it will disappear. For the Ale can lay, for the Makangi Nae, Fasa Nae Mo. For the Ale Foy, the Ma Loshi or the Makangi. Our oil can knock out the Ale. The Kelba Aya Fama Miyano. The Fama Nuiya Le Tua Yaki Oye. The Fama Nuiya Le Tua Ilau Samari. We all go through difficult sickness in our home, in our family. Death go through. And that is the other storm that is hard for a Christian. It's death. Sometimes we question, God, why my mom? Why my dad? But that is the storm that comes and goes if you have the spirit of the Lord. If I'm a nut to you at the oil, if I saw not it, I told my father to tell you. I thank the team yesterday not to praise or to, you know, I was so amazed. The way they prepare for the ladies' service, the island. Tengo fofua, kala risiko inga ainge elkin. Aisha, lemah yaku oleh fanga wale kuwa, ma investa mau sensai. Oro kai kai ale mas kama kure. Oleh fau inga le kuwa ilu oka ko fanga uka mama kina. Lemi mika ainge loko, au le loko oleh vivi inga le kuwa, fa pe ko fa fetai le kuwa. Ono le fanga inga. 
Yes, we face struggle. We face giant storm. But God always provides for us. Doesn't matter what. Ole makani e ami mai mafare kongo yo kako kanaka. Au oya. Ole wa onga e. Mako kalo wa inga le ni kai au au onga o shek fam. O se tama o tu wa ile fama ni anga le tu. O se tama na ave ai le manga o le tu. Ai na maliwa onga o fama au ni o le tama. Le o onga le. Fate fe mai lo o onga le. My wife supposed to lead the service this morning. Two days, she the medicine she took, take the food out of it. Wake up this morning and say, are you ready to take God in the service? She wasn't supposed to be here. Just to remind us that God works miracle ways. Sometimes we face that storm at home, and you don't know how to adjust to it. All night, the morning, you hear the sickness and bring back the memories to myself. And I say, God, release your healing upon her. God's always there for us. I love us I think the sugar oil is a good thing. The sugar oil is a good it was a blessing. The Spirit of the Lord moved in this place. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. There is so many great men. Look at Moses. He depart the risk. Look at Joshua. He overcome the wall of Jericho. And look at Jesus. He died for you and me. There is so many great men facing storms. I told you from Manatu Yatoy in Italy, the Tele of Omna Letu. Safa Sarha in Mamakani Kekele, and then Mafaya Tafu. I'm Moshe Nasa by Mahinga Samikuru. 
I live at a 
Say amen. amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. <laughs> I need to help you, but I might be saying it. I'm a real teller, too. I know a lot of people who are so tired. I'm a teller, too. I'm a teller, too. I'm a teller, too. I'm a teller, 